Hello, my name is Alan Prost and I'm going to give you a little bit of a demonstration on the Remstar Auto CPAP machine. Okay, This is a machine specifically designed to deliver CPAP to patients usually while they're at home. Now we have some of these in the hospital and we do use them on the floors and other areas of the hospital. So you may see them um, utilized in the hospital for those patients who require a little bit of CPAP support either for oxygenation or just to uh, prevent that obstructive sleep apnea that some patients have. All right? So usually the uh, level of CPAP is um, dictated to us by the sleep studies that have been done within the hospital or um, at another institution, and that's the amount of CPAP they require to overcome that level of obstruction at the back of their throat. All right? Now, the circuit is very simple. All right? it's, uh, the Remstar takes gas, just room air gas, blows it through the humidifier here, which we can turn on and fill with water so that they get humidified gas. Plugs right in here on there. And then we need this, uh, one of these whisper swivels on here. All right, It could be this or like you've seen on some of the other devices, just a way for the extra um, flow to be continuously vented out through the circuit to prevent rebreathing of gases or CO2 in the patient's circuit. So their mask will attach just like this, and we may use a specific full face mask like this, or more often with a home unit, might be a, just a nasal mask for the patient. They'll have a variety of head straps to hold that on. Now the idea is that this machine, as we've got it set up, is just going to give constant positive airway pressure, or CPAP pressures, and those are going to be adjusted either automatically by the machine so that the patient can maintain an open airway, or by us and established in the machine. Now it's a little bit odd, it just requires a little bit of uh, uh, electricity here, so we've got that plugged into the wall. To set the CPAP pressures up initially, the way this works is you're going to hold down these two buttons right on the front here, these two gray buttons. You can see them right here. You're going to hold those down, and as we plug it in in the back, it'll go through a little checkout routine on the menu here, and then it'll come up and the screen will be blinking so we can, it gives us a little beep, so we can um, choose the mode we're looking for. It could be C-Flex, which automatically adjusts a little bit for the patient, or we can just establish what we're going to examine, just the CPAP level being delivered to the patient. So we just set, we adjust it so we can see CPAP flashing in the window, and then we can adjust the level that we want by using these other two buttons right here, we can adjust the level. And I'm going to pick uh, six uh, just for our demonstration today. So once we've done that, that's all there is for the initial setup like this. There's some ramp times and some other options I want you to, uh, to explore. And those are useful so that we bridge in on how the patient's receiving that CPAP level. Right. We're going to discuss these kind of options in more detail when you study sleep apnea and you study treating patients with sleep apnea. But for our purposes today, I just wanted you to get a feel for the machine, turning it on. So once we've got the pressure set, we can just turn it on with our little pressure button here. Now, that locks us out of our setting mode. And you can hear it starting up. And so it's ready now to just give the straight CPAP pressures to my patient, all right? Now there's very little monitoring on this particular um, device here. It doesn't tell us about the respiratory rate of the patient, or it doesn't show us the tidal volumes the patient's receiving. It's just gonna deliver that constant positive airway pressure. Now, when you're breathing on this system, you should be able to feel that little bit of air constantly leaking out and around our whisper swivel here. And that's to make sure we don't re are not rebreathing any of the carbon dioxide that builds up in the circuit because we're of the dead space in here and we have no exhalation valve. All right? So we need that little constant leakage through the system so that we have that um, constant flow of gas so there's no buildup of CO2. So, a fairly straightforward device for us to use, thinking about how will we teach our patients how to use this device at home. 
All right. That's why the settings can be locked out so the patient doesn't accidentally change them. All right. So this is the um, Respironics Remstar Auto, and my name is Alan Prost. Thank you for watching this demonstration.